Monday marks the anniversary of the day 1998 when Russia shocked the world by defaulting on its debt. But the ruble's devaluation set the stage for a decade of fast economic growth. This time around, though, economists forecast a slow recovery. Zinaida Medvedeva compares the two crises. The crisis of 1998 was homegrown with a large government deficit financed by short-term loans. Ten years later, Russia became a part of a global financial crisis, with slumping oil price and high corporate debt sinking Russia's economy. After years of high oil prices, the government had accumulated reserves and a welfare fund worth more than $600 billion. That left enough money to recapitalize the big banks, bail out the biggest companies and support the currency. I think Russia learned its main lesson from 1998. Uh, namely that it preserved a significant part of its oil wealth that it's now using to combat the crisis. But as it turns out, and prob it probably is not enough uh, to uh, deal uh, expeditiously, swiftly with this crisis. Uh, and more needs to be done, more restructuring at the micro level. A decade ago, the ruble lost two-thirds of its value overnight. But that allowed Russia's economy to resume growth within three months. Both the crisis and the recovery are already lasting much longer this time. Claims made in the summer of 2008 that Russia was a safe haven were clearly incorrect. The long time it took to recognize the depth of the crisis may cost Russia's economy, but no one can say how much. Political slogans that Russia could emerge stronger from the crisis don't convince economists. This crisis did not require Russian business to pay full price for its mistakes. We can see often uh, cases when uh, banks are not able to get back their credits, when uh, companies uh, say that, OK, it's not, it's not good time to repay debts. And uh, that means that there is no ma basis market discipline. Russia continues to see dire economic statistics. Some experts suggest the economy has reached bottom, but even fewer dare to forecast recovery. Almost everyone agrees that systemic changes and diversifying away from an oil-based economy is essential. But with the price of oil around $70 a barrel, which is $15 more than required for a balanced budget, they may not be the political will. Zinaida Medvedeva, Business, RT, 